SpaceX is the most successful rocket company in the world, but the development of the Starship could be taking a massive toll on its finances. While the company enjoys a steady flow of launch contracts and government funding, developing the world's largest rocket is no easy task. Stay tuned as we take a look at SpaceX's finances and how the company has managed to stay afloat amid major developmental projects and delays. While Starship is anticipated to become one of the most cost-effective launch options in the future, its current development comes with substantial expenses. Managing thousands of employees, conducting frequent testing, procuring materials, and undertaking massive infrastructure projects for Starbase demand a continuous inflow of funds. This prompts the question of how SpaceX manages to afford such endeavours and what the company's financial standing looks like. Recent reports have shed light on SpaceX's revenue and expenses over the past few years, providing valuable insights into the costs associated with Starship and the company's ability to sustain innovation. Interestingly, it was revealed that SpaceX, for the first time in a few years, achieved a profit. This financial aspect holds significant relevance to SpaceX's overarching goal and the trajectory of its various programs. In essence, companies can only invest so much capital in specific projects before expecting a return. On the contrary, SpaceX has been rapidly advancing the development of Starship, aiming to have an operational launch vehicle in the near future. In the first quarter of this year, SpaceX marked a significant milestone by generating a profit of $55 million from a revenue of $1.5 billion. This profitable quarter stands out as the first in the two years of Starship's development. Notably, in both 2021 and 2022, the company's expenses outweighed its revenue. Given SpaceX's private ownership, the company typically keeps most financial information confidential. However, recent reports and Elon Musk's transparency have provided valuable insights. Musk openly discussed the substantial cost of Starship a few months ago. He indicated that the company was set to allocate around $2 billion solely for Starship development in the current year. Importantly, he clarified that SpaceX did not anticipate the need for external funding to cover these expenses. Recent data aligns with Musk's statements, revealing a turning point where revenue has finally surpassed expenses. A closer examination of SpaceX's small quarterly profit at the beginning of this year unveils that the company reported total expenses of about $5.2 billion for 2022, a notable increase from the $3.3 billion recorded the previous year. The documents further illustrate that revenue doubled to $4.6 billion, contributing to a reduction in the company's loss from $559 million in the preceding year to $968 million. Regarding SpaceX's expenses breakdown, in the previous year, the company allocated $3.1 billion to a range of costs encompassing employee salaries, materials, and spacecraft appreciation. This marked a notable increase from the $1.6 billion spent in 2021. Specifically, employee salaries, materials, and spacecraft appreciation are essential components contributing to the overall expenses incurred by SpaceX. In the realm of research and development, SpaceX reported expenditures of $1.3 billion for the year 2022, indicating an 11% increase compared to the previous year. A significant portion of these expenses is dedicated to advancing the development of Starship and Starbase. These projects involve the creation of some of the largest and most intricate infrastructure within the space industry. Starbase, in particular, plays a pivotal role, directly employing over 1,800 individuals and establishing itself as the largest employer in the area. The salaries of these 1,800 employees constitute a substantial portion of the overall expenses. Additionally, the constant testing and destruction of Starship prototypes, coupled with other material costs, contribute significantly to the billions of dollars expended by Starship annually. Fortunately for SpaceX, the company has effectively generated sufficient revenue to offset its extensive expenses. The question of where this revenue and funding originate can be traced to various sources. Firstly, capital from investors has played a crucial role in allowing SpaceX to remain a private entity. Reports indicate that the company garnered approximately $2 billion in proceeds from issuing stock last year, a notable increase from the $1.5 billion recorded in 2021 as per available documents. An even more impactful source of funding has been the success of the Falcon 9. Notably, Falcon rocket missions, coupled with delays from competitors, have contributed to the busiest launch cadence in SpaceX's history. The current year has seen more Falcon rockets launched than the entirety of 2022, emphasizing the continued demand for SpaceX's launch services. Brett Johnson, chief financial officer at SpaceX, highlighted earlier this year that since receiving approval from the FAA in 2014 to develop launch facilities at Boca Chica, SpaceX has invested over $3 billion into the Boca Chica launch facility and the Starship Super Heavy launch system. 
This substantial investment underscores the company's commitment to advancing its capabilities and infrastructure. To put this perspective, the cumulative cost of Starship's development over nearly a decade totaled $3 billion, and the projection for expenses this year alone is around $2 billion. As the costs associated with Starship continue to escalate, there is a parallel increase in the likelihood of this rocket becoming a revenue-generating asset. Before the close of this year, SpaceX anticipates another launch attempt for Starship, featuring substantial upgrades to both the rocket itself and the launch site. The success of this launch hinges on the critical stage separation, a pivotal milestone in SpaceX's developmental trajectory. Should the launch prove successful, achieving the coveted stage separation, SpaceX would be poised to reach orbit in the following year, by 2024. It is worth noting that, apart from substantial contracts such as the one with NASA for the Starship Lunar Lander, Starship currently does not generate revenue. Its profitability is contingent upon its ability to consistently reach orbit. The dynamics could swiftly change and Starship's financial outlook may transform rapidly once it demonstrates reliability in reaching orbit consistently. One of the most promising financial prospects for SpaceX revolves around Starship's role in launching Starlink satellites. Currently, SpaceX employs the Falcon 9 to launch batches of 21 or 22 Starlink 5 2 mini satellites per mission. However, with approximately 37,000 more satellites needed to complete the Starlink constellation, the original plan did not involve relying solely on the Falcon 9 for all launches. Instead, the Falcon 9 serves as a suitable option to initiate and propel the project until Starship becomes operational. Starship, distinguished by its larger size and lower cost, is poised to revolutionize the Starlink satellite deployment strategy. The expectation is that Starship will have the capacity to carry hundreds of Starlink satellites in a single launch, significantly accelerating the process of populating the constellation. This not only enhances efficiency, but also elevates the quality of the service provided. According to Euroconsult, a prominent global strategy consulting and market intelligence firm specializing in the space sector, the broadband connectivity services of Starlink could contribute significantly to SpaceX's revenues. They estimate that upwards of 40% of SpaceX's revenues, totaling around $3.2 billion, could be attributed to Starlink. This is particularly noteworthy as Starlink's broadband services are now accessible in nearly 60 countries and crucial maritime ocean areas worldwide. Delving into the specifics, it's projected that approximately 75% of Starlink's anticipated revenues for 2023 would stem from a combination of service subscriptions spanning its residential and mobility segments. The remaining 25% of the revenue equation is expected to be driven by hardware sales associated with gross subscriber additions. Starlink's subscriber base is poised to undergo a substantial growth spurt, with projections indicating a doubling from an estimated one. 1 million in January 2023 to around 2. 2 million by the close of the same year. This expansion is attributed to a strategic combination of aggressive hardware price discounts, the establishment of new distribution channels, and a continuous increase in available capacity supply. Furthermore, the ongoing expansion into additional countries contributes to this upward trajectory. The chief financial officer of SpaceX emphasized the company's substantial investment amounting to billions in the Starlink satellite broadband constellation. The CFO highlighted the critical role of launching larger V2 satellites that necessitate the capabilities of Starship. This is essential to meet the demand as hundreds of thousands of individuals have already deposited for Starlink services, but are awaiting the deployment of these larger satellites to ensure sufficient capacity to serve their needs. In 2021, Elon Musk issued a warning to SpaceX employees, expressing concern that unless Starship could initiate regular flights by 2022 to launch the new, larger Starlink satellites, the company might face the risk of bankruptcy. While Elon Musk is known for setting ambitious timelines, these comments and concerns should not be disregarded entirely. Fast forward to 2023, and SpaceX is still financially solvent. However, the urgency to operationalize Starship for launching the larger Starlink satellites remains a critical priority. Despite the company not facing bankruptcy at this point, the need for Starship to become operational and fulfill its role in the Starlink project is apparent. The process of developing a new rocket is inherently expensive, and when we examine other major launch vehicle programs in the industry, it provides valuable context. For instance, the NASA Office of Inspector General commented on the Space Launch System, SLS, highlighting significant cost and schedule increases. According to their assessment, NASA is expected to expend $13.1 billion through 2031 on boosters and engines, encompassing both current expenditures and obligations, as well as future contract obligations, with a notable portion being allocated to SLS. Taking a broader perspective, the cost impact of these contracts leads to a significant increase in the projected costs for each SLS launch. 
The report indicates a rise of $144 million per Artemis launch through Artemis 4, elevating the cost of a single Artemis launch to at least $4, $2 billion. Considering all factors, the upcoming launches and the continued development of Starship will play a crucial role in determining the financial trajectory of this program and, by extension, the company as a whole. On a positive note, a launch in the coming weeks appears likely as final preparations are underway, with a few exceptions pending the launch license from the FAA. The upcoming launch follows a flight profile similar to the first, with the key distinction being the incorporation of several game-changing upgrades to the launch facilities at Boca Chica. Notably, a brand new water deluge system has been added, reflecting SpaceX's commitment to advancing its launch capabilities and adding safety measures for the local wildlife. The primary objective of this launch will be to navigate through the stage separation using the new hot staging approach. While the first launch employed a different method for stage separation, it encountered some issues. Successfully achieving stage separation on the first try will be a noteworthy accomplishment and is something to anticipate in the coming weeks and months. Do you think developing the Starship will pay off for SpaceX? Or could it be another money pit like NASA's SLS? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.